Welcome everyone to Talladega, race number eight of the National Throwback Series. Eric Monaco sits on the pole for today's race. Here are your full qualifying results, and let's take you to trackside. We'll wait on the race command before we discuss anything else. And here it is. Drivers, start your engines! Engines fired up, we are ready to race. All right, so, Talladega. Now this specific version is a, is not only a throwback to NASCAR, but a throwback to the ISCR. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, or maybe you do, I'm not sure. But this Talladega is the 2006 version 3 repave, or it says Tally 2006 V3. We used this thing for pretty much everything back then, even with the newer Talladegas. Eventually we did, or I did. But this is probably the most craziest Talladega out there, maybe, when it comes to realism. Sort of. Most of the uh, crazy finishes happen here at Talladega Super Speedway. Long time ago, some of you, again, may also know hey, the when we did the Super Speedway series, we had a wreck on the last lap in the trioval with the leaders. Driver from 8th place ends up winning the race. Didn't do commentary back then. That's how old the race was. Or how long it was. Ago. And then another one we had a one lap shootout. Had a side by side. A sprint to the finish. And had the big one right at the end. And I did do commentary back then. So it's still, that was a pretty, pretty old race. Alright, we're getting ready to race here at Talladega. This should be a good one. But it's also known for its huge wrecks too. A lot of wrecks. Alright, let's see how these guys fare. No trouble. Nope, trouble for the 63. He goes up ahead. Alright, though, so he'll guess he'll take the green flag. He has a tire going down. So he sped up to get down to the apron. Okay, now he's back on the racetrack. I was gonna say it's a smart move, and it was, but he's staying in between. Okay, now he's fully on the apron of the racetrack. No, he's not. Okay, now he is. Can't make up his mind. Down the back straight away they go. Eric Monaco in the 83 leading the field. Rodriguez down to the bottom there we see. A few guys already taking the three wide up front. They're neck and neck still side by side back there. Three wide now four wide. You can see they get very spread out. They use up the entire racetrack. Monaco will lead lap number one. Alexander Roney, 18 there, was gonna go with the 25, but he dips the loads in the middle. As the 10 car, Ryan Butcher now takes the lead in that famous Nest Quick car. Three wide here. Calvin with a big shove from the 66. Staying with him. Calvin will dip low. Look at that. Oh, they're not going to make it out of this one. There goes a 61. Around he goes. Back in front of the field. How many this will take out? Yellow is out, so they pile right in. There's still three, four, almost five wide. All right, so they got to the line. Yellow came out. 
before they crossed it. So Calvin is our race leader. Don't stack up, please. We'll take a look at the replay. Wilcox, second place finisher at Gateway Raceway. He was right there in the middle in a tight spot. Try to get low. 81 was there. I can only imagine if this game had blowover physics. Because coming through the trial, that, that's a classic right there. How many crash compilations have you seen where the uh, where someone just cuts down to the cuts down low in the trioval and then they blow right over like Carl Edwards? Yeah, many times. So sadly, this game don't have it. There's no way to do it right now. Right on board with the 81. A blazy guitar. Try to get low. Oh, and also Tony Stewart. Kind of a similar. Almost. Uh, try to get low wasn't clear. End up flipping over. Ash Curtis, our points leader involved. Chapman also going around. Got the 26 of Casey Nanico. Big damage there. Our previous race winner, Snow Chaser. Also a collected. There's the four as well. There's Tim Randolph. He gets a piece. Take a look at this once more. Nanako. A lot of damage to his race car. Smoke everywhere. Try to go low. Should have gone lower. So not too big of a crash. But probably we'll see a few guys headed to the garage area. We'll take you back to the restart. Right, getting ready to go green, so the 33 and the 26 are out of the race. 40 cars remaining on the racetrack. Pace car is now in. Here we go. Green flag is waving. Back underway. Sixty six and two, and basically almost everyone else goes low to get the race lead. Two cars going to go even lower. Stephen Oaks, Nick Hershey in the 82 car, who just won a cup race, but so far he's last in the points in this series. Tied for last, but that's Nick Wilcox, but he's got the tiebreaker. Oaks has the lead. Car up in smoke. It's Blazy Batar. Watch out. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a little problem right there. That would have been a huge disaster. If they slammed into him. Two car leads. Four wide at the line. That, that was scary. Sam Curtis set a front. See a whole line of drivers back there. Probably got held up by slower traffic as they're wrecking towards the yellow. Here comes the five car and a couple others. Ruby Anderson and the 43. Also in the mix, Sam Curtis just cuts down in time to block the five car. Oh, here we go. There they go again. And they're wrecking. All right, they got the yellow there. Sam Curtis, our race leader. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, coming to the trial. Well, looks like they have enough room, but everyone just trying to squeeze each other to 75. Kind of bounces off between two drivers and goes right around. Calvin Rodriguez, there's a 97. Nick Hershey's in it. Cole Sampson, 11 of Joseph Curtis. And here comes the rest of the pack. Who else was involved? Well, they did all avoided it. Uh, well, mostly the 45 did. 59 and 3 just made it. Pretty impressive driving by everyone back there. Thought it was going to be a huge pileup. So another medium-sized wreck. Take a look at this a couple more times. 
I don't think anyone's gonna retire from this crash though. Don't see any like big impacts. Let's ride on board with Rodriguez, who's right in the middle of it. So 83, 75, and the 98, those are the three. The initial contact. Looks like there's just enough room, but then Cavalden looks like he just bounces off for in, gets into 75. Rodriguez goes nearly into the inside wall. There's also the 21 of Michael Hoax. He gets it under control after hitting the wall there. Give me another couple more times. I, I, that's uh, good enough. All right, we'll take you back to the restart. Getting ready to go green. So it was a header on the 81, as I also expect that uh, no one retired from that previous crack. It wasn't a big one. So the big one is yet to strike. Pace car is coming in. Here we go. Green flag waving back underway. Ruby Anderson goes low, got no help though. Now the five car moves to the bottom as well as a couple others, the 18. Alexander Rowe, the Atlanta winner, however, not doing too well points wise. That was his only top five and top 10 so far as he moves up to second. Throw to the inside now. Looks to be the only Pontiac. Don't really see any Fords either. Yeah, they're all Chevy. There's, there's a 20. David Davison in the one. A lot of help on the bottom. Fifty-three, eighty-seven, two, and the twenty-five on the low side, and here they go. They're gonna fan out, try to get some spots. Davison won't be able to block that one. Fifty-three's got a lot of help here. Colin Bear at the line; he'll lead that lap. Monaco coming down, gets into Josh King. He and Ryan Butcher came down at the same time, but they weren't perfectly lined up. Josh King gets hit, but he saves it. Close call right there. They're still in it, nothing to worry about. Five car, 43, Juit, Riley Sampson cuts low. Juit not in time to cut low. Anderson is there, he's got help from the one car. Still car, 42, Jordan Newman. Not gonna be good. Ruby Anderson can't cut to the bottom line. Sam Curtis coming in hot. Both Ash Curtis and Sam Curtis three have pretty similar stats. Is both have zero wins, both have three top fives, and both have three or five top tens. But Ash Curtis, as we know, has the better average finish. 12.0 versus a 14.43. 
All right, they're packed up once again. And they have a lap car to deal with, or a slow car for now. Oh, there goes the five, around they go. Caution, big hit there from the 10. And that'll be the third race in a row that will end on the yellow, so this will be the race for the finish. Fourth race overall. They're four wide for the race lead. Nick Holiday with a big shove. He was part of that wreck. Here's Monaco in 83. To the inside. 27 or Rodriguez is there. I think Nick Holiday still clear, cuts low. Holiday's gonna get it with three laps to go. And there it is. Just when they're about to lap Jordan Newman, they will not. And another race ending under yellow. And it comes here, Talladega. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, careful now. Oh, careful. So, starting from the... Uh, no, shit, I already forgot the race. Um, anyways, actually, we'll take a look at the replay first. Let's take a look. It looks similar to what we saw before. This time I couldn't say with Nicholas Jouy. There's Ryan Butcher. See the 10 car once again moves low first. Then the 5 car moves low. Either just trying to block or just trying to pair up with the 10. And this time Josh King could not escape. And look at that hit. Just slams that 66 so hard. Both of them nearly flipped. Hits the inside wall too. No one else was involved. Four car crash, but took some pretty big hit there. Or hits. Right on board here with Max Anderson in a 66. And nowhere to go there. Just comes right down. Very, very similar to what happened. Just before, a lot before. So 10 and 17. Yeah, we saw it just, yeah, we know Josh King. From the second TV camera, he was on the bottom row. Again. Three car also got it too. He was right in between, but he made it like nothing happened. Such a big hit too. Nearly in the driver's door too. To 10. So this caution is the final caution of the day. We'll take you to the finish. The checkers in yellow, you could see Brian Rodriguez, who was in second, is having issues. He's coming down pit road. He's got a tire going down. What's wrong with the tires today? That's three drivers we've seen with tire issues. So, th third race in a row from Texas, then Gateway, and now here at Talladega. So, three races in a row for this series, and four races in total, if you include the cup with the Texas race also ending under yellow. And there it is. Checker flag is out. Nick Holiday wins at Talladega. Well, of course, not the way we want to end. And uh, probably one of the best Talladegas we've had. The most craziest one. Yeah, not the way to go out. But yep, it happens. Sadly, sadly three in a row. They can't. They can't stop. All right, let's take a look at the full race results. We have it, Nick Holiday, the race winner here today, Eric Monaco. So close to getting his second win in this series. Eli Bright getting third, Stripe Paws fourth, Ruby Anderson fifth, Alexander Rose sixth, Colin Bear seventh, Wyquel eighth, Patrick Mew ninth, and Sam Curtis tenth. Here is the rest of the race results. 35 cars finish the race. Only a handful of guys, several drivers, Rodriguez there retired there at the end were a tire. We had one driver with mechanical due to not due to a crash. Well, he almost did. <laughs> Still crazy. He, he would have got launched in the air coming down um, pit road because those guys were allowed to dip down to the yellow line. But anyways, that is it here today at Talladega. We still got the Cup race at the same track. Maybe that would be in under green and have a finish with a big pack. Maybe we'll see. Alright, so anyways, let's take you to victory lane.